In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best defense in Madden 25 post-patch. This is post-patch, and this is nickel double mug. You can find this defense in the Jets defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire double mug defensive ebook, it is getting completely updated in light of this most recent patch, and you can get access to that by becoming a school member at school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up is going to be in the description for 10 bucks. You get access to everything on the site, all of the college ebooks, all of the Madden ebooks, all of the updates when patches come out. We update everything for you guys to make sure you have the most up to date way to utilize all of the material. So if you want to get access to that, again, that's going to be in the description. For this defense, you can do this out of a man to man base or a zone coverage base. If you want to do it out of a zone coverage base, you want to use the play nickel dog three buzz. And if you want to use a man coverage base, you want to use mid blitz zero. Now, because I have mid blitz in my audibles, I'm going to come out in nickel dog three buzz and show you the setup from zone first. And then I'll show it to you from man. The setup is very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to slant your defensive line inside. And that is going to be the entire setup for the blitz. And then you're able to put both of your defensive ends in whatever coverage you want. In this example, we're going to put the defensive end on the left in a hard flat. We're going to put the slot corner on the right in a hard flat. And then we're going to put our right side defensive end, who I like to use her for this defense, into a vertical hook. And we're going to just kind of slide him in so that he's kind of touching this guy. You don't have to do that. But I do think it makes the blitz a little bit better. If you want to shade underneath, you can. At the snap of the ball, you're just going to basically run to the right and then go into coverage. You can hold the – or you can click the square button or the X button on Xbox, and then you can hold your left joystick in place. That way it's preset. And what you're going to see is that this blitz is the best blitz in Madden 25 post-patch. Now I'm going to show you how to do that same exact setup from a man-to-man -man coverage look. So if we want to do it from a man-to-man -man coverage look, it's, pretty e it's a little bit easier um, in terms of what we need to do from an adjustments perspective. All we're going to do is we're going to – uh, sl slant our defensive line inside. We're going to then put this left side defensive end in whatever coverage we want. What I like to do with him is put him into a man coverage assignment on the running back, which then is going to allow me to cross man the tight end. And then I'm also going to utilize a soft squat. And the reason I do this is just for better coverage. You don't have to do all of that. And then we're going to put our user in whatever coverage we want him to be in. In this example, we'll just put him in a yellow. And what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, sending four people, we are going to get an A-gap disengage again at the opponent. Now, the cool part about these blitzes is now that I've explained the setup, I'm going to show them a little quicker. And we can actually get this blitz to sometimes come in against a blocked running back. As you see, he gets an instant shed on the running back, and he's able to get that pressure quick. So if they are blocking their running back, this is still a very, vi uh, very um, valuable blitz because it's a f you're only sending four people. And against blocked running back, a lot of times they're still going to feel that pressure up in the A-gap, as you can see. So what your opponent is going to start doing to block this blitz is they're going to start sliding and double teaming and doing things like that. So when, they start to, when you're starting to notice that they're consistently picking this blitz up, what I like to do is I like to send the defensive end on the, on the left side. Okay? Now, it, it could be the defensive end on the right side if this formation was flipped. That's fine. I just like to send five people. And what you're going to see is if they're doing that double team trick, this guy is going to fly in off of the edge. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is let's say that they're doing like a half slide and they're blocking the running back. If they're doing something like this, this is probably the best way that they can block this blitz. And so what I like to do is I like to go ahead and use either of these safeties. And I actually don't like to move them. The reason I don't like to move them is because I don't want the user to know pre-snap what's going on. If you want to bring your safeties into the box every play, in zone you can show blitz, or in man you can press. But you see how we're just going to be sitting back here. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to run down like this. And as you see, it causes that disengage. And we're going to be able to get that pressure even against a blocked running back. This is why this is the best defense in Madden post-patch, because defense is centered around pressure. And this is the best way to get pressure post-patch. Again, all you're doing for your setup is you're slanting your D-line inside, and then you're basically putting your cover adjustments around that. And as they start to block the blitz, as they start to do different things to try to pick this blitz up, then you're going to be adjusting your blitz and maybe sending five or sending four based off of you know, whatever you think that you need to do. Thanks for watching this video. To find our entire defensive ebook on this, make sure that you join our school community. The link is going to be down in the description below.